Good morning. All right, today we're going to look at solving equations using the Desmos calculator. Here are the steps. So write these down in your notes to go along with these steps that we wrote down um, for equivalent expressions. First of all, you want to use x for the variable in the equation. So no matter what variable they use, whether it's a or b or c or t or whatever, substitute x in for those. Then in your Desmos calculator, at line one, use y equals, and then type in the first half of the equation. Then at line two, use y equals, and then type in the second half of the equation. And on the next slide, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Then you want to find the x value of the point where the lines intersect. Remember, points are always given to you in x, y order. So you're looking at that first number, the x value. If your lines intersect, then that's what you're looking for, is that intersection and the x value. If they are the same line when you graph them, then remember your answer is infinite solutions because any number that you plug in to that equation will make it true. If parallel lines, then your answer is no solution because remember parallel lines never intersect. All right, let's look at the next slide, which will show what I mean by typing those in using y equals. All right, so here we have the equation 6 times x minus 5 equal minus 4x, sorry, equals 3 times 4x minus 5. And then there, there you have your answer choices. So what you want to do is go to Desmos. And this is what I meant by typing in the first half of the equation. So you're going to type in the first half using y equals 6 times x minus 5 minus 4x. And then you're going to go to the second box and type in y equals and then your second half of your equation, 3 times 4x minus 5. When it graphs it, remember you can zoom in or zoom out so that you can see the intersection. When you get the or find the intersection, click on the point where they cross and it gives you the x value right here. It gives you the x and the y, but remember we're looking for the x. Your answer choices, though, are given to you in fraction form. So remember, we just need to change those fractions to a decimal so that we can compare, which our answer is negative 1.5, because remember, this is your x value, this is your y value. So we've got x equals negative 1.5. So we want to change our answer choices to decimals so that we can compare them. A is obviously wrong because it's zero, so we're going to go ahead and mark it off. Negative three halves, when we change that to a decimal, we get negative 1.5, so there's your answer. If we change C to a decimal, we get negative 2.5, so that one's not correct. D, we get negative 7.5, so that's not our answer. So super simple using Desmos. Um, in the PowerPoint and Google Classroom, I've got some more examples for you to go through to follow. Just type them in like they are in Desmos using y equals for each half. Find that intersection if they intersect. If not, if it's the same line, it's infinite solutions, parallel, no solutions. So practice the rest of these slides in that PowerPoint. Try to get your answers. Have a great rest of your day.